Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Today, or tonight, I'm doing a video about prepping. You guys know that obviously I'm not a prepper channel, but I do want to start learning about stockpiling and being better prepared for emergencies. I definitely think that that is a good thing to do no matter what's going on in the world. It's always good to have extra. There was an old YouTuber that I knew actually when I started out that her husband had lost his job. But because she always kept stockpiles of food and non-food items, she said that that really helped them out during that time. So even if you do it on a small scale, I always think it's a good idea to be prepared. So I want to mention, and I'm going to mention this below in the comments, I saw an excellent video, and to be honest, I'm, I hadn't been subscribed to this channel. I'm just starting to watch it. The YouTube channel is called Live Simple, Live Free. I love the name of it. And this particular young man did an excellent video about hoarding versus prepping. And I think there's misconceptions sometimes on that because sometimes people may think people that are preppers hoard, but that is not the case at all. They prepare and they take things slowly. So when other people were going out and they were making decisions based on fear and wanting to buy a bunch, they were already prepared. So I thought it was a really good video, so I'm gonna tell you about it below. Even if you don't have a great big budget to do a lot of preparing, even the little bit we can do can help. I'm gonna show you my starter kit. Each week I'm gonna buy a few things, food and non-food items, so that I can be better prepared for any type of budget. So let me get started. Some of these things were from before. Uh, and by the way, I want to mention, even though this is a small container because we don't have lots of space, I do have a full pantry, a full refrigerator and freezer. So I'm already very well stocked and I always stay well stocked all the time. But these are extras. So I have an extra package of toilet paper and I will be buying more of this. I didn't have a thermometer that was working, so I got one of those in case we need it. I have some an extra shampoo, and remember, I do have a stockpile of that stuff back there, but these are for extras. An extra body wash, I love this Arm & Hammer body wash. An extra bath soap. And then I have extra of these, I just bought one, and we have some in our bathroom, but I have an extra of these antibacterial gel. I'm just going to keep one of these. As you can see, I didn't go and buy tons. I left plenty for other people. But this way, I do have extra. I do like Tide, and so I put an extra one of these in there. And so this way, let's say if my budget was kind of tight that week for whatever reason, and I needed some of these things, and I'm like, gosh, I only have 50 bucks this week, I at least have some things to fall back on. So that's good. I'm going to start also preparing for food. We don't eat a lot of beans. It seems like a lot of people when they prepare buy a lot of rice and beans. I don't normally, we don't eat rice and beans. Not that there's anything wrong with that. So I'm gonna have to come up with some other things that are good to stock, food items that are good to stock. Let me know in the comments below if you know of any. Also, some canned meat I, do, I did get because we're only allowed to, two cans of tuna. So I don't know if I'll do it each week, Maybe every other week, I'll show you guys how my stockpiling is building. Now, I don't need to probably do that every Friday. I have to tell you two more, three more things. Number one, I don't know if I showed you, my friend gave me this shirt, it's free. Number two, I have some other good news. I think today is the fourth. Well, guess what? I told you guys that I had gained four pounds and I was 189. I started tracking my food September 1st, it's the fourth. I lost five pounds in three days and I was 184 this morning. So guess what, I'm back to it again. I wanted to be accountable and let you know. Before signing off, let me know if any of you have a stockpile, and if so, what kind of things do you keep in it? And also, I just wanted to tell you one more time, I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm grateful. I think I know I've told you guys, guys this. I absolutely love YouTube, I love the community. I find it a wonderful, positive, environment and I am so appreciative this doesn't even seem like work to me this is just so much fun and it's so much fun getting to know all of you I love the comments and I, I just love the support I just had to say that that's all for now this is money mom signing off and as always I love you bye bye